There is no let up to sky high prices that are impacting both residents and businesses. Consumer prices rose more than expected over the past year, according to the latest reading of the CPI. That's an index used by the government to track the price of products. Inflation surged seven and a half percent on an annual basis. It is the highest reading in nearly 40 years. The cost of basics like food and shelter are still rising. There was a big jump in energy costs and car prices. In fact, used car prices have risen more than anything else, up more than 40 percent over the past year. The state will soon accept applications for a new round of funding for those interested in participating in the Sustain and Serve program. That program provides organizations with grants to purchase meals from New Jersey restaurants impacted by COVID-19. The organizations then deliver those meals at no cost to residents in need. The state is allocating $10 million of federal COVID relief money for this latest phase of Sustain and Serve and is expected to start taking applications on March 1st. The head of the Small Business Administration, Isabella Guzman, is marking Black History Month by stating that the SBA is committed to breaking down barriers for Black-owned businesses who can't obtain capital and other resources. In New Jersey, there is some headway on that front, according to John Harmon, who leads the African-American Chamber of Commerce in New Jersey. We're making progress, particularly, uh, Rhonda, the, the corporate sector in New Jersey uh, banks, corporations are making um, outreach that is very substantive. In other words, trying to figure out how they can introduce Black businesses to resources, opportunities, and information to ultimately uh, contribute to their success. Harmon believes more movement is needed in the public sector. He'd like to see an increase in the number of state contracts awarded to minority firms. Finally, New Jersey will be receiving more than $15 million to help build out electric vehicle charging stations. Congressman Frank Pallone announced the funding amount today, which is part of an effort to build the first ever national network of EV chargers. Now, here's a check on Wall Street trading for today. I'm Rhonda Schaffler, and those are your top business stories. Support for the Business Report provided by NJCU School of Business, a game-changing force offering programs like financial technology or business analytics and data science. We're steps away from the Exchange Place PATH train in Jersey City and minutes from Wall Street. Learn more at njcu.edu slash gamechanger.